Question 1. Why does the present VC circuits use MOSFETs instead of BJTs? Answer. Compared to BJTs, MOSFETs can be made very small as they occupy very small silicon area on IC chip and are relatively simple in terms of manufacturing. Moreover, digital and memory ICs can be implemented with circuits that use only MOSFETs i.e. no resistors, diodes, etc. Question 2. What are the various regions of operation of MOSFET? How are those regions used? Answer. MOSFET has three regions of operation. The cutoff region, the triode region, and the saturation region. The cutoff region and the triode region are used to operate as switch. The saturation region is used to operate as amplifier. Question 3. What is threshold voltage? Answer. The value of voltage between gate and source i.e. VGS at which a sufficient number of mobile electrons accumulate in the channel region to form a conducting channel is called threshold voltage. Question 4. What is channel length modulation? Answer. In practice, when VDS is further increased beyond saturation point, it does has some effect on the characteristics of the MOSFET. When VDS is increased the channel pinch off point starts moving away from the drain and towards the source, due to which the effective channel length decreases, and this phenomenon is called as channel length modulation. Question 5. Explain depletion region. Answer. When a positive voltage is applied across gate, it causes the free holes, positive charge, to be repelled from the region of substrate under the gate, the channel region. When these holes are pushed down the substrate they leave behind a carrier depletion region. Question 6. What is body effect? Answer. Usually, in an integrated circuit there will be several MOSFETs and in order to maintain cutoff condition for all MOSFETs the body substrate is connected to the most negative power supply. In case of MOS most positive power supply, which causes a reverse bias voltage between source and body that affects the transistor operation. By widening the depletion region, the widened depletion region will result in the reduction of channel depth. To restore the channel depth to its normal depth the VGS has to be increased. This is effectively seen as change in the threshold voltage. Vermont this effect which is caused by applying some voltage to body is known as body effect. Question 7. Give various factors on which threshold voltage depends. Answer. As discussed in the above question, the Vermont depends on the voltage connected to the body terminal. It also depends on the temperature. The magnitude of Vermont decreases by about 2 millivolts for every 1 arc rise in temperature. Question 8. What are the steps required to solve setup and hold violations in VLC? Answer. There are few steps that has to be performed to solve the setup and hold violations in VLSI. The steps are as follows. The optimization and restructuring of the logic between the flops are carried away. This way the logics are combined and it helps in solving this problem. There is way to modify the flip flops that offer lesser setup delay and provide faster services to set up a device. Modifying the launch flop to have a better hold on the clock pin, which provides CK greater than Q that makes the launch flop to be fast and helps in fixing the setup violations. The network of the clock can be modified to reduce the delay or slowing down of the clock that captures the action of the flip-flop. There can be added delay slash buffer that allows less delay to the function that is used. Question 9. What are the different ways in which antenna violation can be prevented? Answer. Antenna violation occurs during the process of plasma etching in which the charges generating from one metal strip to another gets accumulated at a single place. The longer the strip the more the charges gets accumulated. The prevention can be done by following method. Creating a jogging the metal line that consists of at least one metal above the protected layer. There is a requirement to jog the metal that is above the metal getting the etching effect. This is due to the fact that if a metal gets the etching then the other metal gets disconnected if the prevention measures are not taken. There is a way to prevent it by adding the reverse diodes at the gates that are used in the circuits. Question 10. What is the function of tie-high and tie-low cells? Answer. Tie-high and tie-low are used to connect the transistors of the gate by using either the power or the ground. The gates are connected using the power or ground then it can be turned off and on due to the power bounce from the ground. The cells are used to stop the bouncing and easy from of the current from one cell to another. These cells are required VDD that connects to the tie-high cell as there is a power supply that is high and tie-low gets connected to VSS. This connect Connection gets established and the transistors function properly without the need of any ground bounce occurring in any cell. 
Question 11. What is the main function of metastability in VSTL? Answer. Metastability is an unknown state that is given as neither 1 or 0. It is used in designing the system that violates the setup or hold time requirements. The setup time requirement need the data to be stable before the clock edge and the hold time requires the data to be stable after the clock edge has passed. There are potential violation that can lead to setup and hold violations as well. The data that is produced in this is totally asynchronous and clocked synchronous. This provide a way to set up the state through which it can be known that the violations that are occurring in the system and a proper design can be provided by the use of several other functions. Question 12. What are the steps involved in preventing the metastability? Answer. Metastability is the unknown state and it prevents the violations using the following steps. Proper synchronizers are used that can be two-stage or three-stage whenever the data comes from the asynchronous domain. This helps in recovering the metastable state event. The synchronizers are used in between cross-clocking domains. This reduces the metastability by removing the delay that is caused by the data element that are coming and taking time to get removed from the surface of metal. Use of faster flip-flops that allow the transaction to be more faster and it removes the delay time between the one component to another component. It uses a narrower metastable window that makes the delay happen but faster flip-flops help in making the process faster and reduce the time delay as well. Question 13. What are the different design constraints occur in the synthesis phase? Answer. The steps that are involved in which the design constraint occurs are, first the creation of the clock with the frequency and the duty cycle gets created. This clock helps in maintaining the flow and synchronizing various devices that are used. Define the transition time according the requirement on the input ports. The load values are specified for the output ports that are mapped with the input ports. Setting of the delay values for both the input and output ports. The delay includes the input and output delay. Specify the case settings to report the correct time that are matched with the specific paths. The clock uncertainty values are set up and hold to show the violations that are occurring. Question 14. What are the different types of SKUs used in VLSI? Answer. There are three types of SKU that are used in VLSI. The SKU are used in clock to reduce the delay or to understand the process accordingly. The SKU are as follows. Local SKU. This contain the difference between the launching flip-flop and the destination flip-flop. This defines a time path between the two. Global SKU. Defines the difference between the earliest component reaching the flip-flow and the, the latest arriving at the flip-flow with the same clock to in this delays are not measured and the clock is provided the same. Useful skew defines the delay in capturing a flip-flop paths that helps in setting up the environment with specific requirement for the launch and capture of the timing path. The whole requirement in this case has to be met for the design purpose. Question 15. What are the changes that are provided to meet design power targets? Answer. To meet the design power target there should be a process to design with multi-VDD designs. This area requires high performance and also the high VDD that requires low performance. This is used to create the voltage group that allow the appropriate level shifter to shift and placed in cross voltage domains. There is a design with the multiple threshold voltages that require high performance when the Vermont becomes low. This have lots of current leakage that makes the Vermont cell to lower the performance. The reduction can be performed in the leakage power as the clock in this consume more power. So placing of an optimal clock controls the module and allow it to be given more power. Clock tree allow the switching to take place when the clock buffers are used by the clock gating cells and reduce the switching by the power reduction.